Hello everyone, I am Dominique Amara. And first off, thank you for tuning in to this video. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so. But that is not the point of this video. Uh, this video will actually be talking about forgiveness, um, which is something that I feel we really need to hear. Um, over the past few weeks, I've had to forgive people. I have gotten a very good lesson in forgiving others over these past few weeks. And I've seen that uh, forgiveness is never easy, but it is necessary. It's something that we have to do. Um, I was thinking back a while ago to when I had a friend that we kind of got into it. This was years ago, mind you. Um, we kind of got into an argument and I was the one that kind of held on to the grudge. That person should just let it go, really. And I just held on to it for two years, y'all. Two years of holding on to a grudge. Huh, that was pretty bad. <laughs> Looking back on it, it's like, how in the world and why would I do such a thing? But I held on to this grudge for two years. And one day, just out of the blue, I just felt it in my heart to contact this person and ask for forgiveness because it just, at some point, I felt like I, I grew, I matured in that time. And I just realized how ridiculous it was for me to just continue holding on to a grudge. So I did contact the person, asked for forgiveness, all things was well and uh, were, were well. And he, I mean, we just had a, a conversation and things actually went pretty well for a while. Well, I'm so glad that I actually got the chance to um, ask for forgiveness from this person because like a few weeks later, they passed away in a car accident. Now imagine, had I not asked for forgiveness, that would have haunted me to this day that I didn't get a chance to, to, to say, hey, I'm sorry, and uh, before they passed away. So that was my first lesson a while back. Like, I cannot hold on to grudges because I don't want to be thinking about that for the rest of my life. And so I'm saying to you guys, don't hold on to grudges. Not because the person may die or whatever, but it's just so much better for you to let go of that pain and anger. You cannot let the unforgiveness and bitterness to take root in your heart like it did for me at that, for those two years. Um, our primary duty is to love one another, which is in Romans chapter 13, eight through 10, which I'll go ahead and read. Um, Romans 13, eight through 10. It says, do not owe anyone anything except to love one another for the law who, I'm sorry, for the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. The commandments do not commit adultery, do not murder, do not steal, do not covet, and any other commandment are summed up by this commandment. Love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no wrong to a neighbor. Love, therefore, is the fulfillment of the law. So here it is. The Bible right here says that we have to love one another. And I'm not saying that, you know, forgiving somebody means that you're best friends with that person now and y'all hang out all day, every day. That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> Forgiveness just means that you've let go of that offense and um, you're no longer bound by the bitterness and anger in your heart. You have let that go. Granted, sometimes people don't ask for forgiveness. <laughs> Many times they don't. But it's still a good thing for um, not only because you want to feel better, but because God, the Bible says that you have to forgive one another because God forgave us. So guys, don't let uh, grudges take a hold of you. Um, even like I said, even if they don't ask for forgiveness, forgive them anyway. It's, it's the right thing to do. Um, and also, you never know, the person may notice how 
friendly you've been with them and they're like, hey, why, is, why are they doing that? <laughs> they should be angry. And you never know your friendliness um, and your willingness to forgive um, may be something that leads them to Christ. You never know. So be sure to let go of that forgiveness. I mean, I'm sorry, let go of that anger. Um, let go of that unforgiveness and thank God and, and thank God for the ability to forgive this person and move forward in your life. Grace and peace, everybody.